So right now we've got five wildfires of really serious concern burning in our state right now. Four are in central Colorado, one on the west slope. We just mentioned that oil springs fire. That one's over there by Grand Junction. Exploded over the weekend, now up to over 5,000 acres. And now down to southwestern Colorado, there you see the Trail Canyon fire also causing evacuations. Right now I want to bring you a little bit closer to Denver, about two and a half hours to our west. The Sylvan fire is spanning the border of Eagle and Pitkin counties, pumping out a lot of smoke in the area right around Sylvan Lake State Park. That one sparked on Sunday. Stage one fire restrictions are in place. It's believed this one was started by lightning. I want to give you a look at the burn area, nearly 15 acres of burned as that fire straddles the county. As we mentioned, it's now up close to 1,500 acres. Campers have been evacuated around Sylvan Lake State Park, very popular. Evacuation notices in effect for people also living way over here by Root Eye Reservoir in Pitkin County. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary live in Eagle County. Jamie, the Sylvan fire posing unique challenges for these crews. It is moving very fast, Jim. We've been watching this crow all day. It's about 12 miles south of me here in Eagle as the crow flies. This morning, mapping had it at about 400 acres, and by this afternoon, it blew up to more than 1,400 acres. So again, moving fast through a lot of dry brush, and right now there's no estimate on containment. There's a ridge in a road between the lake and the fire, so we've actually done some of our own burning to try to put in some fire line to keep it from coming over to Sylvan Lake. Yeah and it's been kind of moving to the south. Crews are using plastic sphere dispensers, dropping them from the air to create that fire line, but it hasn't been easy. It's established in timber, so that's a, that's a tough fuel type. On Monday, as temperatures rose and the humidity dropped, the fire behavior picked up significantly. There's a lot of dead and down in, in, in these spruce fir forests, so that, that, you know, it all just contributes to it. And, and so even if there's a lot of snow in there, it's been getting sun for a while. While more resources are expected to arrive, crews are already stretched thin. You know, the last couple days have been really busy in the West with a lot of new starts. And so we have orders for additional uh, resources like hotshot crews, and um, they're already, um, you know, all, all being used. And so it's hard to fill um, all our orders. And the Sylvan fire is moving fast. By Monday afternoon, it had grown by more than a thousand acres. You know, resources are already pretty engaged across the West, so we definitely don't need any new starts don't need any human start. So if, if people are out um, working or recreating in the outdoors, just be extremely careful. Full Fort is an old mining town just a few miles from the fire. I'm told by one property owner that crews are no longer letting homeowners, a lot of vacation homes there, they're not letting them back in. Structure protection is in place there. And as that fire continues to move south towards Pitkin, the towns of Meredith and Thomasville are still on pre-evacuation notices. Officials believe that this fire was caused by lightning, but that is still under investigation. And of course, we'll continue to follow this story. Live in Eagle, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.